In this video, I will talk about how you can use a uh, lag from lighting to visualize zeotic technology. First of all, I will give an example so you have an idea what I'm talking about and then I will explain how it works. So over here we have just some basic zeotic mess which uh, will teleport this block over there in a single game tick. And um, with these things you usually can't see much, therefore it's kind of difficult to understand them if you can't really see how they work. You can just see the result. And so what I uh, made is a contraption which will create lag spikes in a, at specific times in the update order so you can see how it moves along one block at a time and this maybe helps some people to understand the technology or in general it's just cool that you can um, pause the video in the middle of a tick. Um, so basically how this works is um, I use uh, lighting lag spikes. Um, so right here I'm, I'm in a world where we have 230 blocks of air underneath the world. Um, so if I punch a hole anywhere in here then it will create a lighting lag spike. Now if this lighting lag spike happens for both the client and the server then it's not very useful because when uh, the game won't render while the game is stuck. So what we do is we use um, a desynchronization between the server and the client using ghost blocks. So for example this uh, room right here is uh, well lit and this daylight sensor is on but if we push ghost blocks in here then, um, then the room will appear to be dark for the client but uh, the client and server uh, independently calculate the light and the server still thinks that this is well lit because the server doesn't know that there are ghost blocks there so this daylight sensor still has full signal strength. And this means that if we have um, a ghost block somewhere between the ground then um, then the lighting lag will only happen for the server but not for the client. So for example right here we have a ghost block right here and if we then um, put a block on top then it will create a lighting uh, lag spike for the server but not for the client. This way we can um, pause the update order at specific timings for the server but not for the client. Now something I should mention is that you can use this to um, visualize uh, piston based zeotic technology but for other update order stuff this is uh, not so good because um, of the way the packets are sent. Um, for most blocks if you um, change the state of the block um, the client won't instantly notice. For most blocks it's um, like this but if they change then um, they will wait for a certain um, part of the tick in which the block modification packets are sent, which is this part, here is uh, a bit of processing order, and then the client will notice. So what this basically means, if you want to see tile tick update order, this won't really help creating lag spikes, because if you have two tile ticks updating after each other, and you um, make a lag spike in between, then you won't see anything, because you will only see something when the block modification packets are sent for most blocks. Um, but for um, blocks using block events like pistons it's different because for blocks using block events it's like this that if a server poses a block event and the block event is uh, successful so the piston could push or whatever then the client will uh, immediately be told that it was successful so for pistons the client immediately gets noticed when a piston manages to extend while for other blocks uh, they wait for the block modification packets and uh, for example here is an example, here is a dispenser, he will place a uh, water bucket and create lag and here we have a 2 tick repeater and um, because of tight priorities we would expect uh, the repeater to turn on before the um, dispenser and uh, we have the same delay but this one has a better priority but if we flick it we will see that we um, get a lag spike and um, then we but when the lag spike starts we don't see that the repeater is already on, we only see that the repeater is on after the lag spike. Um, so this doesn't help to visualize um, tile ticks, this only helps to visualize block events like uh, pistons when there are beacons and spawners are kind of free block event blocks which I know of. So um, it's mainly for pistons. Um, yeah, and here I have another thing demonstrating. Let me just generate some ghost blocks below here. So uh, I have some ghost blocks generators below. So if you flick this lever, then all these pistons will retract, and this one will put a block on on top of here, and we will see that the pistons um, retract because there are block events. 
show the rest we will um, not see anything because the block modification package does not send they are in our one tick desynchronization and we won't see anything until the next game tick so um, but for pistons it works quite well it also works for beacons um, well this is kind of an artificial example but uh, over here I have a contraption which turns on two beacons in the exactly the same game tick so when I flick this lever these two beacons beams go off in the same game tick but we can visualize the update order using a uh, lighting uh, lag spike on the server so if I now flick the lever we see that the one turns on off before the other because I created a lighting lag spike in the right part of the update order but that's basically the idea. If you want to visualize um, block event technology, then you can just create a lag spike at the right time by making the server post a lot of lag and then um, it works. Um, another thing I should maybe mention is um, that also if you just want to examine pistons, there are also some problems um, because this because the timings for the server and client are a little bit different. For example, if I extend this, then we will see that this block extend and then we will see him retract. He doesn't actually do that. He uh, doesn't retract the block and um, he actually drops him as a theoretic post. But the client thinks that he can um, retract the block again because the, for the, and the client thinks that this piston had a lot of time to extend and a lot of time to retract. So he doesn't, the client doesn't know that he's doing theoretic behavior. Um, and also there are one tick desynchronizations um, which could be considered an advantage or a disadvantage um, for example you can study ghost block generators with this so if I flick this lever we will see that this piston first extends and then this rail will get destroyed server side but we will see that the rail is still there for the client and then we can push it over and have a ghost block so like this and the rail is still there and then we push it over and then we have a ghost block this is a ghost block generator found by test 137E29 and with this kind of setup you can understand it a little bit better um, and the last thing I want to show is um, a six piston, a six headed piston generator so in here we have just have the normal piston and um, over here we have something which will regularly generate leg spikes I will just generate some ghost blocks and um, free the thing up so light can get through and um, oh wait let me give me yeah, a command block and then we will also be able to take a look at this and I will go into spectator mode when it starts um, so we can also take a look at the 6 piston head generator um, oh ok but command block didn't work, it never works for me. So we can see it pushes in different pistons, when it extends these pistons, when it um, pushes in the next piston, and when it deletes the piston and pushes in the next one. And this would have been better with spectator mode. Uh, anyway, you can look at the stuff with, with these things if you want. That's basically the idea. And why didn't this work? Cause I forgot to specify the player. Um, anyway, that's, that's basically what I wanted to show in this video, that you can use lighting lag lighting to visualize block event technology. Let's take another look at this one, so we can see how it goes over and over and over and over and over. Uh, yeah, that's everything. Bye.